Welcome back to Scripps News Tonight, where an unlikely topic is making news and really honestly just delighting us. Nanoland is a Canadian kids show that aired in the late 90s, early 2000s. It followed two-year-old Mona on her daily visits to her Nana's house. One of the creators used to call his grandma's house Nanoland. It's been off the air for nearly two decades. It had limited airing here in the U.S., but TikTok has given Nana a second life. Anna Land's own TikTok account has racked up over 5 million likes in videos with the hashtag Nana Land are fast approaching 150 million TikTok views. How did this happen? Users are taking clips from the show for kids and tying them to relatable life events for adults. Hey, birdie. It's okay, birdie. I'm going to take care of you, birdie. Okay? Mm. Are you feeling mad? <laughs> Are you feeling kind of sad? Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's been a whirlwind for the show's creators, Canadian puppeteers, Jamie Shannon and Jason Hopley. After years of not seeing each other even, they're working together again to fuel the ongoing trend tonight. After years of being off the U.S. airwaves, we're bringing the show's creators back to an American audience. Gentlemen, looking great. Jason and Jamie, so glad to have you. You're, you're in Canada right now, right? Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> all right. So, Jamie, I've read all the articles. I've looked at the TikToks. By the way, our staff of the show love you guys, so we're big fans. Um, to be a creator oh, of anything you. is is hard. This has to be a dream. Almost two decades in retirement, Jamie, and then TikTok. Did you think maybe people had forgotten? Well, it's always been simmering there. There's always been a little bit of love, but no, this is unbelievable. I can't believe how many people are seeing this happen. I can't believe how many people are watching. It's just, it's, it's just a, it's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> and it's always a je ne sais quoi, like what catches on. Jason, certain shows, I, you know, they just stay with you. Mine was Sharon Lewis and Bram. I remember watching them, loving them, singing with them. I could feel. I think they were from Canada, by the way. But in your show. I love the kitsch factor. You might call it homemade joy. You know, what look and feel are you going for? Why does it resonate? It definitely resonates because I, I think a lot of, uh, uh, we're both, you know, kids of the 70s. And I think, you know, Nana's always had that kitschy sort of quality to them. Um, and I think history, uh, you know, and all that kind of collection and all that kind of uh, uh, old casserole recipes. I think it's something that's yes. so, so different than now, right? You know, a lot of people, you know, didn't throw stuff out back then. And it was, that's that world. And um, it's, it's nostalgia a hundred percent. And, but, but on top of that nostalgia is uh, the love and joy that you get from, from your grandparents and, and that mm. safe, wonderful place that you're, uh, that you can f be free to be who you are, uh, and and somebody there uh, enjoying it and, and helping you out every every moment of that, and uh, and I think that really resonates with some people. So, and it happens to be I'm in this so really kitschy, that. fun, delightful, quirky place, which is how your grandparents' house was. Like, were all of our grandparents' houses the most beautiful, immaculate? No, but you loved it. I remember sitting on my grandma's lazy boy on the arm, and you know the. The toilets had a big fuzzy, I don't know what it was on top. And then you sit down and had, you know, your sink into it. It was like, I don't know why they had that, but they did and you loved it. By the way, guys, I saw a photo of you guys making the show. I didn't know how puppeteers do it. It looks painful. How are your cervical spines doing now that you're back at it? <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of people that's how it takes to do puppets. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. I mean, well, I mean I've, I've been a puppeteer since that time, so uh, I think you just get smarter in asking the production for more comfortable chairs, I think is really what happens as you get older. <laughs> <laughs> and that shoulder strength. Yeah, nice shoulders. Um, I, I did see that Mona and Nana have profiles on Cameo now. It seems like the projects, the merchandise opportunities are, are rolling in. Is this becoming uh, improbably lucrative? It, it may soon. We're new. just, you know, we're trying to just keep the beautiful faith of the show. We're just trying to keep everybody loving it the way it was so pure so we're going to try to you know make a new show we're going to keep on taking advantage of things are good they come towards us and t-shirts and merchandise which people are dying for stuffed animals of them so we're just getting all that together
Oh, I love it. And, and a whole new generation is going to grow up with this now, which is awesome. Hang on real quick, Jamie and Jason. I do want to play something for people. I want to bring in arguably the most viral Nanoland clip of them all. This one in particular, people love. It threw this resurgence into overdrive, and it launched meme after meme after meme after meme. A TikTok user who goes by Jess, uh, the handle is at X come down, posted a caption to go with this clip. This is from Nanoland. Take a look. Who's that wonderful girl? Be any oh yeah, we all came home from the Jones store and then we spun around and users now pair that clip with every imaginable, relatable scene. A hundred million TikTok views for hashtag who's that wonderful girl. So let's throw it back to Jamie and Jason now. Um, uh oh, they've gone missing. But these guests look very special indeed. Dynamic duo of the clip, Mona and Nana, back on American TV for the first time in years. Mona, can I start? You're a star, you're a star and you're very close to the cam. I love it. How does it feel to be admired by so many for Well, I don't so many know how to wonderful? use the infrawebs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nana, she's not very good with the computer. But me neither, because I'm only free. Three years old, you're growing up so mm -hmm. fast. Nana, how are you enjoying TikTok? Yeah, I to... Oh, I love I love the TikToks and you know, and the way they talk and tick. And it's really, it's really lovely. And you know what's even better? Is that I get to see my sweet pea on uh, so many other people get to see my sweet pea. Isn't that right, sweet pea? Yeah. Oh, the people, they come to my backyard, they see the bugs, there's frogs mm -hmm. there too, if they mm -hmm. like frogs, but especially bird flies. Mm. Oh, we want to go to Nana Land. Okay. So, uh, Nana, the thing I love about you is you're like all of our Nanas. Mm -hmm. and no matter what we call our Nanas, we feel them, even when they're gone. It's a tough world out there. What sort of lesson do you like to teach? Well, honestly, there, Chase, I think really the most important, am I looking at you? Oh, the most important thing uh, that you can be as a Nana is someone who just gives love. Love mm. unconditionally, you know, because, and, and also just just enjoy the joy of, of, of littles, you know, little kids and, and enjoy each other. I think that's really the message. Mm -hmm. Unconditional mm -hmm. love. Do you have somebody that loves you, Chase? That's the important part. I do, and I, ha I have twin four-year-old little boys who I'm going to be showing your videos to, and I think that I love that because oh. we teach them to love themselves, you know, when they're little. Yeah, they can be friends with you, Mona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. You know what? You can, they can help take care of my little birdie. <laughs> See, mm -hmm. I put them to work because they're always busy. But uh, before we say goodbye, Nana and Mona, Welcome back to American TV. Any chance to tell us about your next Thank adventures? Because Nanoland is back. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, we hope it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You, you made Mona <laughs> go the happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> she does that when she has to go to the bathroom as well. <laughs> you got to go potty. Yeah, okay, well, you go potty. You know, we're we're excited about you. We'll help. You got to go potty. I got <laughs> you. I got you. We are very excited about the future. <laughs> Nana Land, we love you guys. <laughs> Mona, Nana, enjoy all of your adventures. Thank you for making your big return to American TV and lighting up TikTok like nobody else. And Nana Land creators, Jamie Shannon, Jason Hopley, wherever you are, a big thank you. Congrats. We'll see you soon online. We'll be thank right back. Thank you.